have to do is grab the ones that take your fancy. Head chef Lee is an expert in dumpling making and has been churning out traditional dim sum dishes for 44 years. Their busy kitchen is serving up all the mouth-watering classics you could ever want seven days a week. So this is Chef Lee of Lee Hyung, and he's going to show me how to make their famous ha gao dumpling, which is shrimp dumpling. I so we've got fresh shrimp, so that just goes into a bowl. Potato starch, salt and ground white pepper. Obviously, the salt, the ground white pepper is for seasoning, and the potato starch is to bind it, OK? And then he yeah. uses his hand, and he just mixes all that together, breaking the shrimp apart making it kind of sticky, but there's still a lot of texture in there. So sugar, a little bit of MSG, and some chicken powder. But he's also kind of aerating the mixture, so it's really loose-fingered. So he's got here some bamboo shoots and some pork fat. And the pork fat just enhances the flavor, gives it lovely richness. So next, he's adding some dried flatfish, and that's deep fried and then ground into this powder. Some sesame oil. Everything is so fragrant. So the ha gao filling is in the fridge and it's going to chill for 30 minutes. And then Chef is now going to show me how to make the dumpling skin. So we've got boiling water. So he just adds that to the mung bean starch. Slowly, slowly mix it. Now a, a little bit of cold water. So he's looking for the right texture of the dough. And he just keeps mixing that. So next, he takes some potato starch. So he just mixes the potato starch into this wet mung bean dough. So that's where I'm going wrong with my ha gao dumpling skin. I tend to mix both of the starches together, and that's not correct. You need to work one dough to make it soft, and then work the starch into the other. So he's just moulding the dough, and it's really malleable, like putty. We've got the filling from the fridge. So this has been chilling for half an hour, and now he takes a good, chunky handful of the dough, rolling it into a thin, long sausage piece. And then he takes a little bit with his thumb, smashes it with his palm, and then flattens the dough with the cleaver. Look at that. Amazing. So can I have a go? Take a little bit more, roll it in the palm of your hand, squash it, and then just Cut it right off the board. This is uh, the student's version, but we're ready to fill. Don't, so don't put too much. Basically, leave about two centimeters of the top. Use your thumb and your second finger to just keep moving, moving. Wow, that's so quick. That is a lot of pleats. Good dim sum chef. They're concerned about the pleats, the good size, the beautiful shape. That's beautiful. Right, I'm going to have a go. What you need to do is la tam, which means expand it, like stretch the prawn out. And then you just bring uh -huh. one end together, pinch and move, pinch and move. You need to be really quite gentle with this because the skin can I'm actually cool. break. Well, kind of. A few oh. fat pleats and that's about it. I think I'll leave the dim sum mastering to you. So traditionally, it's four ha gao dumplings in each basket. So that goes onto the steamer four to five minutes, and then it's done. Wow, look at that. Steamed to perfection. Now look. The ha gao just lifts off that greaseproof paper, and the fact that it doesn't stick to the paper or the rest of the dumplings that is a sign of a good ha gao. And look at it, it's glistening. Into the chilli oil. The shrimp is really fresh. The crunchiness of the bamboo shoot just gives it that texture. And it's seasoned beautifully. You can taste the salt, you can taste a little bit of ground white pepper, that chilli oil, it's right there and just adds a real richness to it. So tasty. After seeing what Chef Lee's cooked up in the kitchen, I can't resist grabbing a table in the dining room to sample a whole selection of his dim sum delights. Um, guys, Wow, now I can eat. What I've ordered here is some steamed black bean spare ribs. Lovely and juicy. Mmm.
It's salty, got the flavor of the fermented black beans, really tender. That is very good. So I've got a sweet bun here. Ah, it's like egg yolk with chestnut paste. Mm. It tastes rich, a little bit like sweet peanut butter in a bun. Custardy and eggy at the same time. I've got here some tongzi, which is sticky rice with some pork and egg yolk. Mmm. Rice is sticky. Salted egg yolk is rich and salty. This is delicious. So I've got the famous siu mai. Yellow, golden, egg, wonton, wrapper, some fresh shiitake mushrooms, shrimp and pork. In a little bit of soy sauce. Sweetness of the prawns, the bite of the mushrooms and the pork. That is amazing. This kind of experience is really great. I mean, if you don't mind a little bit of shouting, a little bit of negotiating, this is dim sum, loud and proud.